Okay. Hey, this is John Hansmeyer. This is my friend Austin. Howdy. And so, uh, so um, what are those, Austin, right there? Got some Brussels sprouts here. Brussels sprouts. That sounds really good. And both of us got the uh, what's it called again? Like the brew pub burger or something? <laughs> yeah. Nice. So this is what it looks like right here. It's a nice gluten-free bun. Looks really fancy. So what's on it is um, it's bacon, cheese, and it's got some uh, it's got some brisket on it. Did it say brisket or something? Yeah, it's okay. some, some sort of thing like that. Oh, okay. Some bacon. Oh, that looks really good. Look at that right there. Did you get medium or medium rare? Medium rare. I think so. Mmm. So what do you think of it? Got to finish my chew first. Mm -hmm. What I really like about my burger is it's got really in like a very good juice to it. It's got a very good, um, the bacon is really fresh and it's got a really nice cheese. And I feel it all goes really well together, not to mention I really it's not like some sort of boring gluten-free bun, but like they have like a sesame on it, and I feel like it's really interesting. Huh. And uh, little poppy like a, seeds down there too. Yeah, poppy seeds. Like a lot of times when you eat like a gluten-free bun, you're really disappointed. It looks like something like your grandma sat on or something, <laughs> and it's just like, what is this? Like, oh, we got it in the fridge about three months ago. I'm like, yeah, I can't, I can tell. <laughs> I think our sandwiches actually got mixed up. Uh oh. Um, I think you're right. Well, because I think you ordered the medium. I noticed it at the beginning, but I wasn't. I didn't really Didn't care. we? No, I don't. I don't really care much. Well, it's kind of too late now. Um. No, I know. I. It doesn't matter. It's just for an ask. Huh? Uh. Kind of too late now. I don't want to be cheating, but I'll go, I'll go ask. Right. what? No, you don't need to ask. What are you talking about? Nothing. I don't know. I, I can tell that's medium rare. Oh, okay, I'm just. I just wanted to mention okay. it. We had ours uh, handed to us wrong. I'm really glad they had put uh, red potatoes in here. Mm -hmm. They put a little bit of salt on it, and that's really all it needs. I would have liked probably a little bit more sauce on it though, I think. Okay. What I really like about this burger too is, um, I don't know, I feel the beef chuck is like really fresh. It's really juicy and it's just a really solid burger. Um, one of the reasons why I was always want to go to Blue Rock North uh, Brew Pub is uh, the indoors is really fancy, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll, get, I'll be able to share some pictures of that later, but. It's a really nice place and it's really, really good, so. The ambiance in there is kind of rustic. Yeah. It's really enjoyable. I'm excited for you to try your Brussels sprouts too. It's, um, it's not like a typical, like a vinaigrette like mm -hmm. you'd have, but it's, um, Maybe it is a vinaigrette. <clears throat> I'm not sure. But it's nicely grilled. Mm -hmm. A little salty and I can't quite put my finger on what that flavor is. It's really good though. Do you mind if I have a taste? Or Oh, don't you didn't you get your own? No, but I don't know. I'll get it. Later. I thought you ordered Brussels sprouts. No. no. Oh. Hey. Um yeah, if you grab your fork, you can have one of these. Yeah, I like Brussels sprouts too. I can tell like they really cook them well. Mm -hmm. I made one. I made some once for my family. Uh, we had uh, my oldest sister. She's vegan, and her whole family, her 
her, her husband, and her two kids, they, she made sure all of them were vegan. And so, <clears throat> two, two Thanksgivings ago, um, I made Brussels sprouts, she made some sort of dish that was <clears throat> vegan, and I guess we try to, I guess, make them feel welcome, otherwise they won't eat our food. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like, well, I'm trying to have family stuff, you know. <laughs> Mom, I want some meat. No. Right. You shall eat some vegetables, which will slaughter tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, there are some foods I wish that she would share with us, but mm -hmm. I guess she can make her own decisions. What are some foods that you wish she won't share with you? Well, like meat. Oh. Not that, I meant. Not that she has it. Oh. <laughs> she won't eat it with us. Now what I like from the taste of that is it kind of had like a sweet flavor. It tastes really caramelized and stuff, and it's really, it's not moist, but it's very, uh, it's very flavorful. And I feel they did a really nice job with those. And uh, that was kind of interesting. Like, it wasn't like, firm like most of them but it's like really loose kind of like really spread out like they really caramelized it mm -hmm. so that's what I liked about it yeah. yeah I definitely agree with that I think they could have had it a little bit more crispy a little yeah. more toasty but I thought it was definitely 9 out of 10 I think you could should have had it when it was <coughs> excuse me I wish you would have had it too when it was um, still steaming hot. Yeah. It got a little bit colder once you had had a bite of it. Yeah. One of the things that's nice about food when you eat it is um, it's kind of like it's kind of like a, if it's good food, it's kind of like a campfire of where it's okay to be quiet. It's okay to just be there. It's not like today's society where there's like a 30 second pause. I, I mean, pauses you can't have if you're like in like a speech, like in TED Talks. <laughs> right. Well, because you're there, you know, you're supposed to be speaking. Otherwise, I hate political jokes. Otherwise, it sound like Joe Biden. We shall be with America. We shall, um, uh. Did he do that? Uh, yeah. He has, like, all these pauses that are, like, really. Oh. Kind of like that time Hillary was just like, hi. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw that one. But again, it's just kind of nice with like eating, uh, when you eat, um, what's the word? The nice part about eating food is it, it's kind of like a campfire again, of where you just look at it, you eat it, relax. But it's kind of the same when you look at a fire, of where it's just silence, but... Well, because you're better. focused on the fire, focused yeah. on the food. Yeah. And uh, the staff here were really nice and everything, and... I'll have to show you some pictures inside. It's really nice. Um, how, well, how would you rate your burger, Austin? Um, well, I mean, <clears throat> being it was a medium, I mean, I'm a medium rare kind of guy, so I'm, I'm curious how, what you thought of the medium rare. Um, yeah, it was really good, really juicy. Um, this burger kind of really, the patties, like they're thick and they have like a perfect round shape. 
and they remind me a lot the reason why I think I'll come back is they really remind me of burgers you get at Tafford on the Hill hmm. and it's like a very fresh chuck you know very good beef and uh, the bacon was really crispy thankfully that's kind of the reasons why I, I prefer going to restaurants that were fast foods because mm -hmm. you go to a fast food and they're just like it's bacon and I'm like no that's not bacon that's like that, may, that makes like turkey bacon look holy that's how bad this bacon <laughs> is but no um, usually, depending on the restaurant they usually you know obviously it's fresher because they take their time but yeah well, more time is put into preparing it too better right. ingredients better uh, you know higher quality searing. better pizza Papa John's <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> The guy was a terrible person. You want to know why? Because he just like, he serves crappy food and he's just like, better greens, better pizza, Papa John's. That wasn't a laugh of, I, I'm running a good business. That was a laugh of, ha 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 ha, I'm serving crappy pizza, you have to eat it. And he's just like the cold sweats, ha ha ha, stay tuned. <laughs> Did you ever watch that horrific interview? Of uh, Papa, Papa John's Papa? having? Yeah, Papa John's having that cold sweats. And he's just like, I've eaten over 40 pizzas this month. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, you look like it. <laughs> it's that, that joke? It's yeah. A, yeah. I don't think I've seen that one. Is it where he's actually saying it, but he's somebody edited it? No, he it? actually said it. Huh. Interesting. I personally love Papa John. Like memes and jokes. Yeah. Yesterday I was dumbest joke ever, but I was at work thinking about calling up Papa John's, and saying, "Hey, can I, can I have a large Papa Murphy's pizza, please?" Put it on. They're like, "Oh, sir, this is the wrong place of their <laughs> rivalry." It's like Papa Murphy's is frozen pizza. It's like, no, just a large Papa. Come on, you know me. Get Papa on the phone. I want to get a Papa Murphy, you know, pizza. Yeah. Come on. They're brothers. It's no big deal. <laughs> yeah. They're both dads. Come on. They can yeah. share the same food. Yeah. That'd be really funny if it's just some 20 year old, only, uh, some guy in his 20s owning, pa owning Papa Murphy's. Like, you're not a Papa, you're a son. <laughs> yeah, this. These dad jokes are over 9,000, so mm -hmm. oh yeah, that's an old reference. <laughs> I know you're probably watching this being like, boo. So just boo at the screen. Don't give me a look. thumbs down, please. <laughs> what you should have said was just like, hey, is this Papa Murphy's? No, this is Papa John's. You know what? You taste like Papa Murphy's because your pizza's always cold. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, personally, I like Domino's the best. Honestly, if I had to pick one of them. Really? Mm -hmm. How about you? Well, it's kind of hard considering that I'm both gluten and dairy free. Yeah. But I'd say my favorite pizza place, because I'm kind of biased, is uh, Pizza Luce. Oh, yeah. And okay. Or, that... It's the old, it's so nice because. When you're gluten-free, a lot of people say, oh, you get cheese, but a lot of people who are gluten-free are also dairy-free. So it's just kind of nice because they have, like, go there on your birthday, Pizza Luce, because they give you, like, a, they give you, like, a brownie that's the size of a brick, and it's, like, really big and really thick. <laughs> and I think it's, like, the same ingredients as, like, uh, it's, like, uh, um, um, Say. With pizza luce? Oh yeah, they really have really good ingredients and stuff like that. I really <laughs> thought it was good. Just yeah, I don't know what it is about it. Like just the perfect combination of flavors. Yeah. And like textures. And, yeah, they're outstanding. They're probably the second best pizza I've ever had in my life. Oh wow. Number second. one is got to be uh, the Depot in Alexandria, Minnesota. The Depot. Nice. That's the place to go. It's ambiance is horrible. It looks like the uh, basement room of a 13 year old who does drugs. <laughs> Wait, where is this? Uh, in Alexandria. Oh. 
Yeah, but it's called the Depot. They've got the number one best pizza I've ever had in my life. I mean, I seriously, I had one bite. It was like instant. It was like, oh, yeah. my goodness sakes. Yeah, <laughs> delicious. Yeah, although I'll, they didn't win the regional uh, pizza award like oh, yeah. uh, Angelina's did in town. Oh, bummer. But, uh, yeah, I think they should have won it personally. I'll be right back. Sure. Also, if you want to... Uh